Hi, I'm Susan LeBlanc, and this is Conversations with the Goodman School of Business, and my guest today is Ali Anwar. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. You are one of our MSc students, Master of Science students in management. Yep, that's right. And specializing in marketing. Yep. And uh, we're here to talk today a little bit about some of your experiences here uh, as an MSc student. You've got a bit of an interesting background. You came uh, to Goodman by way of, you're from Pakistan originally? Originally I am, yeah. And then you came to Goodman by way of Italy for a, a stop of about seven <laughs> or eight years. Yeah, about that. <laughs> so what were you doing in, in Italy and what led you to come to Goodman? Oh, okay. Um, so I did my undergrad and my MBA from Pakistan and then I moved to Italy to get some work experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always knew I wanted to pursue my PhD. Mm -hmm. So after a few years, it was like I decided it was time to do that. So I, in order to get to a good PhD school, um, I, I needed an MSc. So mm -hmm. that's what landed me to Brock. And it's been a good experience so far? Oh, it has. It has yeah. exceeded my expectations. And I've been fortunate to work with some really great people. And uh, yeah, so yeah. far so good. And let's talk a bit about that. You're talking, yep. uh, you're working with professors uh, Tech Bong Papanal and yeah. uh, Ashraf. Professor Abdul Rahman Ashraf, yeah. Yep. And, uh, and you've had the opportunity to present at a couple of conferences as well. Yeah, yeah. The first one was um, back in May, I think. Uh, that was in California, the AMS conference. And the recent, um, the previous one was uh, the, our, our Royal Bank International Conference that mm -hmm. was in Montreal. Right. with the University of Concordia. Right. And so. so and this is a really good experience for MSc students to be able to go in. These are academic conferences yeah, yeah. where you are presenting to other academics from around the world in some cases. Yeah, no, yeah. It, absolutely it was. It was a little um, nerve-wracking initially, mm -hmm. but it's been it's been amazing, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. those are people whose work you've read and mm -hmm. you aspire to work with them someday and yeah. to go and network with those people to meet people from the industry and the academics, it, it's been great. Good, yeah. and, and a great uh, preparation for when you do uh, get to the PhD level and, oh, yeah, and are yeah. out there, I yeah. Mean, yeah. Yeah, it makes uh, a lot of difference. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, let's talk a little bit about the research that you've been working on sure. here. Um, I know it's in, in mobile commerce, right? Yeah. So give us a little bit of a... So this paper that I presented uh, was a part of a bigger project with a series of studies on mm -hmm. mobile retailing, mobile commerce, uh, mobile advertising. Um, so this one was about um, specifically in the context of consumer behavior mm -hmm. with regards to mobile uh, commerce in India and Pakistan, mm -hmm. which are two emerging economies in terms of mobile commerce. And they present a really interesting case study because... Uh, most countries have transitioned to mobile commerce from e-commerce, right. but India and Pakistan sort of leapfrogged, so to say, directly right. to m-commerce, and it's really taking off there. So it was. It's the context is really interesting. So there is a difference between e-commerce and m-commerce. Yeah, e-commerce yeah. would be what we traditionally call uh, e-commerce would be um, buying stuff, engaging with different companies on um, your computers, mm -hmm. your desktops, or your um, computers, computer devices. Mobile commerce is more on the go, remote, mm -hmm. uh, without the limitations of time and right. um, space, so to say. Yeah. Yeah. So, what would have been some of the major? Are you still, are you st you're still working on this research. I am. Yeah. 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 But would my have been thesis, some. Yeah. Sorry, my thesis would also be in the same uh, domain. Yeah. So yes. What are some of the things you're finding? Or oh, are you not able to tell yet? Lots yeah. of them. We're st yeah. the thesis I'm still working on, so yeah. we haven't um, you actually come to your we haven't yet. The re we, yeah. we haven't got the results yet. Yeah. But um, yeah, hopefully something interesting will come up. Yeah. Well, I'm sure yeah. it will. I mean, yeah. uh, mobile commerce. I mean, it, it's the way, obviously. Of the yeah. Future. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's something that's uh, very current, very interesting as well, and uh, there's a lot to be explored in that particular mm -hmm. space. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, some interesting. Findings will. I'm, I'm yeah. sure there will be, yeah. yeah. And so you are in your second year of your uh, two-year program here. I am, yeah. And uh, as you said, enjoying it. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know yeah. you've got a couple of great professors that you're working with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, they've been very supportive. Supportive. They've been great. I mean, yeah, we've 
like I was saying, the opportunities we have had already are sometimes only available to PhD students. Mm -hmm. So I've been really fortunate in that yeah. respect. That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming by. We really thank appreciate you. it. Yeah. And we wish you all the best of luck. Thanks I'm sure it's thank going you. to be a fantastic thesis when it's all done. I hope so. And you'll I'll be... come back to explain. Yeah. How to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank you so much. Thanks. And thank you for dropping by and hopefully we'll chat soon.